Okay, so what data do I have to support my theory that the universe is a cycle of energy to mass that lasts for 60 units of time, or rather 6 times 10 units of time? 6 because we have 6 directions or dimensions being up, down, left, right, backward and forward. And 10 because we use base 10 mathematics. I suppose my greatest supporting material would be the 60 digit repeat cycle that we find in the Fibonacci sequence. Here we can see that our very mathematical system has a 60 digit repeat cycle built into it. This is no coincidence. It is said that the Torah, that's the original Bible, which is believed to be the, the, the direct word of God, recorded exactly as it was given to man, consists of exactly 600,000 characters. That's 304,805 letters plus the letters they comprise. And it further states that if any if, if even a single letter is added or missing in a Sefer Torah, the entire Sefer Torah is invalid. Once, we gain, once again we see the number 6 and a multiple of 10. This is telling us something fundamental about the very structure of the universe. When cosmologists and physicists study the universe, they put the estimated age of the universe at approximately 13.75 billion years. If we look at nature, we find that in nature there is a golden angle, also found using the golden ratio. The golden angle is 137.5 degrees. This is the point in nature where new things appear, the turning point. 137.5 is obviously 13.75 times 10. Physicists also claim that we can only see roughly 25% of our entire universe and that the rest is made up of dark energy and dark matter. Here is an interesting calculation. 13.75 is 22.917% of 60. So if the universe were 60 billion years, as I claim, and we can only see 13.75 billion years back in time, then we can only see roughly 25% of the universe. The rest is still dark. Once again, this reinforces my theory that the universe is not a place or a thing. The universe is only time and is an event that is unfolding over time. We are only 13.75 billion years on our current cycle. The future is still dark. Here is another amazing fact, but please go and research the golden ratio. There are many informative sites on the net. The golden ratio or golden mean for 360 is 137.5077 and 222.49. This gives us the golden angle of 137.5 degrees. The golden mean for 60 is 37.08 plus 22.917. But remember, 22.917% of 60 is also 13.75. There is an underlying perfection here. We don't use 60 minutes and 60 seconds on our clocks because of ancient superstitions, and we don't use 360 degrees because the ancients thought the earth took 360 days to orbit the sun. No, we use 60 and 360 because the very mathematical structure or geometry of the universe is constructed using 6 times 6 times 6. Please go back and look at my videos on Metatron's cube and sacred geometry. To recap, 22.917% of 60 is 13.75. The golden mean for 60 is 37.08 plus 22.917. The estimated age of the universe is 13.75 billion years. And physicists claim we only see roughly 25% of the universe. Pause this video here and study the numbers. The golden mean for 360 is 137.5077 and 222.49. The golden angle is 137.5 degrees. 60 times 6, 360. 22.917 times 6 equals 137.5. 22.917% of 60 is 13.75. The estimated age of the universe is 13.75 billion years. We are living at a golden point in time when new things occur in nature. The universe is not a place, it is an event or story that unfolds over 60 units of time 
in all six directions or dimensions. 60 times 6 equals 360. This is why we see the physical universe in all 360 degrees, yet it is only an event that is taking place over 60 units of time. Please go back and watch my previous videos. What does all this mean? It means the universe is not a random singularity event as per the Big Bang, but rather that the universe has an intelligent underlying design. It is not random chaos. And if there is intelligent design, there must be an intelligent designer. This is the key to the messianic age. Once we accept God and abandon nihilism and chaos, we can open the gates to heaven. I have proved mathematically that the universe is an intelligent construct. The fact that the Fibonacci 60 digit repeat cycle fits so perfectly into Metatron's cube is not a random coincidence. But as always, you are free to believe what you will. A friendly reminder though, there is a promise to those who accept God, you will know eternal life. This is not a crusade. I am not trying to convert anyone to Christianity or any other religion. I myself have no religion. I find many of them divisive. Yet, I believe that at the core of every religion, there is an underlying truth and a single unifying message. God is everything. Please see my next and hopefully last video.